So a new day rises and a new project begins or a project we're in the middle of. We are in the middle of it. This is a crazy project. We got JD working hard here. We've got, uh, well, three GC3 batteries here, one here. We are gonna put all four right here and then a whole bunch of Victron stuff. All the stuff you saw in the garage is going in here. JD's putting together the backer boards. I think he's already got one now. We're gonna get the other one going. Yeah. Uh, something a little interesting we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna do a vent fan because this is gonna get hot. This is actually being installed on a slide out, which is something new for us. And uh, we gotta keep this compartment cool. So what we're doing is we're sucking uh, air out here. In. Or we're pulling air in and then the hot air should come out that tube should get sucked out that tube and down just when this is sealed any air that comes in air's got to go out so that's our thought this is a normal pc fan with a pwm pc thermostat controller and i've extended the lines for both the power and the temperature sensor so we'll put the temp sense up top and run the power lines to the links and all that stuff. Let's, uh, let's go look at solar. Now on the solar side, the customer has already done the install on the panels and he's, he's made some interesting uh, brackets there for tilting. He can tilt, I think, uh, both ways, whichever way works for him for the sun. I think there's over 2000 watts of solar on here. We're pushing that into three charge controllers, and I think we're going to go down the black tank vent right there. That's the plan. Uh, so, a little bit of an interesting project. It's definitely a collaboration, and we don't have any problems with that. We just like to help people out. So inside, uh, we're going to try and put the monitor here on, the, on this wall with all the other monitoring stuff. But as you can tell, it is really packed tight in here. But I think there should be a way we can snake a line down here with the uh, either fish tape or fish sticks down into that compartment and then we can get down to the underbelly and then we're home free management here is all right we got we got to quit talking we got to get back to work i think hold on girl hold on i know i know we're doing the best we can so we're already uh pulling down the underbelly coating in there and we've got a path to run the wires so that's about it for what we have to do that's one of the things i like to do right away is figure out all those tough questions how are we going to run solar how are we going to run the data lines how are we going to run the ac lines um, and we've got that sorted we did most of that yesterday and we've been putting together the components on the board and now today we're going to be mostly installing it and hooking things up so we got a Keystone Outback that we just finished up. Let's uh, take a look. And we did something crazy and we put it on a slide. Never done that before. That's what the customer wanted. So we've got four GC3 batteries in here for 1,080 amp hours of storage capacity. Two multi pluses and we ran those in parallel. So we didn't have to worry about load balancing or anything like that. And uh, that should work fine because they're two by 120. So on 50 amp, they'll work just fine. And then on the, uh, in inverter mode, they still get the uh, 6,000 VA of inverting power. Got two Lynx distributors in here. Probably could have put a Lynx BMS in there, but uh, we ended up going with the, with the shunt there, doing that little thing that we do all the time. The master fuse and the chargers up there and what you might be thinking is it's going to get pretty hot in there and we thought that too so we actually have a uh, temperature controlled pwm fan in there like from a computer case down here and it's blowing cool air in and then we've got a vent up here where all the hot air should get pushed out and down because once this compartment's closed it should uh, manage itself and we also added a GF 
CI outlet there so he can charge his tools. Customer is going to use this for uh, storing all kinds of fun stuff. So, and probably a couple of things in here as well. So that is this compartment. Let's uh, take a look at the panels. On top here, the customer installed these panels and we just helped them uh, get them wired up. We were hoping to go down a roof vent, but in the end we had to do our uh, gland there. Or not our gland, we had to do our box with the inputs and we also helped him install a uh, Wii Boost over there and ran that in there. And I think there's well over 2,000 watts of solar on here. And we did test it. We can run an air conditioner from it. How about that? Now, doing this in the slide out, we actually had to run it all underneath, under the belly pan, and then up through the floor where the typical shore power comes in. So that just comes in right behind there. And the solar wires also come down through there. And then we got uh, this mounted, the screen mounted there. You can see what we're, we are charging up with uh, solar and shore power at the moment. You can see how that's working. To get all this mounted in there, we actually had to pull this corner off and this whole panel off. And then we were able to snake the wires down through here into the, into this cabinet and then on their way. So uh, we are pretty darn happy with this. Took us about four days in real time. And then the, uh, the battery is deleted and the customer put a toolbox there. Pretty common thing to do. But real quick, uh, we are super happy with how this came out. If you need any help on your solar rig, you need components, you need anything, we can help you. We can drop ship things. We can help you with plans, diagrams, all of it. Whatever you need, give us a call, give us an email. On our website, Soda Solar, S O T A S O L A R dot com. Thanks for watching. Oh, and subscribe if you haven't. If you like watching these, give us a subscribe.